Dan, how hard was it you know, dealing with that injury last year, having a missed spring, just working your way back, and uh, just how good did it feel Saturday to be back on the field being able to play? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, that injury was a you know, very disappointing thing last year, but um, thankfully now I'm back out there this year, and that's all I'm focused on. And, uh, you know, it just it felt amazing to be back out there Saturday. I was going to ask you, obviously, that's a very long rehab. Uh, can you just get into a little bit of detail, if you don't mind, as, as much as you're comfortable with, about mm -hmm. when that the dreaded Liz Frank fracture and, and kind of what goes into exactly to, mm -hmm. to getting back to full speed? Yeah, um, it was a little bit different than Liz Frank, but, uh, yeah, I really, really don't want to talk much about it, to be honest. I'm just glad it's, I'm healed up and, uh, and thankful to be back out there for sure. Yeah, Dan, from your perspective, how have you seen the young corners like Nyland and AJ and Julian kind of grow up through the summer and in the fall as they're all kind of battling for that uh, corner spot opposite Kamar? Yeah, um, every one of our corners have been busting their tail all summer. Um, and even in the spring, you know, watching them in the spring get after it, um, you know, they just they give it 110% every rep, which is what we need and is what really what we demand as a secondary. And uh, those guys are, will continue to show up for sure. You saw Makai make some plays on Saturday. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, what does it take to not only be a walk on at Georgia, but to be successful and to put yourself in a situation like you have, like mm -hmm. Makai has to be able to play and contribute? Yeah, first off, <laughs> Makai works his tail off every day. And that that's really all it, all it comes down to. Um, I mean, the, you know, if you, if you show you can play and you show you have that worth ethic, I think Coach Smart really appreciates that. And, um, you know, when you have that kind of – athleticism they're going to find a spot for you and then the hard work is just you know an extra so speaking of that last year uh, Will Muschamp said you were the second best walk-on safety <laughs> what kind of problems did that cause with uh, Connor Norman uh, especially I think yeah spent a lot of time with him last year yeah we still haven't gotten down to the bottom of who he was referring to <laughs> but uh yeah I mean I me, me and Connor had a conversation about it, but uh, yeah, we're, we definitely moved on from that for sure. You guys are a team that prides themselves on a limiting explosive play, so how assuring is it to not just have you back there, but a bunch of guys on the back end of that defense that have played a lot of snaps and have been in this defense for a long time? Yeah, that's one thing we focus on every day for sure. Explosive plays, that, I mean, those change the game, like you said. Um, so being on the same page is crucial. Um, and, you know, we're always communicating extra and, and making sure um, we're on the same page of practice so to limit those during the game. Obviously, Javon moved back there in that spot, uh, mm -hmm. in, in your spot, I guess, uh, overall. But I'm assuming that even while you were rehabbing, were, were you involved in, uh, you know, helping him along and making mm -hmm. that transition from star to safety? Yeah, um, for sure. I mean, Javon's a great player. He's very versatile. I mean, that obviously has shown up. But, uh, you know, whatever my role looks like, that's what I'm going to do. And, uh, you know, he supports me and I support him. And we all, all, all of our DBs support each other. So um, it's very exciting to play with these guys. And we're just making the most of it every day. We got to see a little bit of Justin Rett on Saturday. Mm -hmm. What has stood out to you as he's gone through his first year and, and what he's done so far? Yeah, he's a great athlete, great player. Um, and once again, he's another guy that works really hard. And uh, he's going to be very exciting to continue to watch. Yeah, Kirby mentioned, was talking about Malachi. He said he's a, a safe, one of the few safeties he's had who could play corner if he needed to with his coverage mm -hmm. skills. Just from you, how do you evaluate his coverage skills and, and what does that add to the defense to have a guy like that playing safety in the middle of the field? Yeah, I mean, from day one, he uh, he's come in and I mean, he's, he's been great in coverage, and that's shown up, like I said, through his freshman year and, um, and continuing to now. And uh, we're very, very thankful to have him, and he's, a, he's an excellent player. And, um, you know, that's, that's all of our goals, you know, to be able to cover in the back end. And, um, yeah, he's, he's a great player. I can't remember if you told us before whether you, we, we got put on scholarship or not. And, um, you know, besides – the scholarship are there little things that walk-ons miss out on, um, you know, in terms of what around the team? Um, you know, if, to answer your first question, there, uh, you know, they're taking care of me for sure here, and uh, 
I think we're all a big family when it comes down to it. Like, um, for me, it's, you know, walk-on was never really something I let get to my head. Uh, you just come in and, and bust your, I mean, bust your butt every day. And I mean, good things are gonna, I mean, it's gonna pay off. And uh, you definitely see the same thing with Makai, which is really exciting. But uh, yeah, I mean, whoever, I mean, it's it's open to anybody, and, which is uh, which makes it all worth it. But. What says uh, stood out to you about this Ball State offense? Just what you guys are going to be going up against mm-hmm. Saturday? Yeah, I mean, they've got some very talented players. Um, you know, great tight end, great running back, great quarterback. They they uh, did a lot of quarterback last game. You know, with Kentucky, and uh, they're just a great team. But uh, we're excited to play them, and we're excited for them to come here and. Um, you know, we're taking it day by day. How long did it take to come up with this? Uh, Marquez Cooper is the same guy that was running on you guys and yeah. against Kent State last year. What, what what have you seen from him uh, now that he's changed team? Yeah, uh, Cooper, he's a great back, like you said, from last year. Um, but, you know, we we face backs, great backs every day at practice, too, with ours. And that, that's something I'm really thankful for is the backs that we have because that gives us the utmost confidence uh, going into every single game. You mentioned uh, communication was a big thing, not just on the back end, but also you got to be communicating with the linebackers. So having a true freshman like C.J. Allen in the game, how do you think he did just communication-wise and getting everybody on the same page? Yeah, he did great. Uh, C.J.'s an incredible player. Um, you know, he's got great speed, and uh, he, he knows, and we all know that we all got to be on the same page. So he does a great job looking back and making sure the safeties and, and all the linebackers are on the same page. Any other questions? Okay. Thanks, Thanks Dan. Thank you all.